how do you attract good people to work in a social business? I mean, All uh, people are I mean, good are they, people. Can, can they, I don't have to, <laughs> yeah. I don't I mean, have to look for good people. I don't mean good people. Obviously, yeah. it's going to attract good people. Yeah. But how do you attract savvy business people? Because yeah. presumably, you want this business to really work and be successful. Sure. Yeah. It's hard enough to get a business to work it's when it's a, when it's a it's me, amazing. me, me motive. But how does it, how does it work when it's a, 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 yeah. a, such a self-centered It's, it's amazing part? that uh, if you can spend uh, half an hour, one hour with that tough, CEO who not understands nothing but money. When you bring it up, suddenly he or she becomes a different person. Said, okay, we can do something. Because they have enormous technology in their hand, which they always use for making money. Uh, I gave the challenge to the Adidas CEO when I was invited uh, at their headquarters in, uh, in Germany. Uh, they said, how do we do the social business? I said, well, one starting point would be, why don't you start with a mission statement? Something like this. Nobody in the world should go without shoes. As a shoe company, this is our responsibility to produce shoes affordable to even the, to the poorest people. At first, they were shocked that <laughs> such, a, <laughs> such a thing they have to do. And then CEO asked me, my colleague has asked me to ask you how cheap these shoes should be to be affordable to the poorest people. I said, maybe under one euro. He said, that is a tough job to do. <laughs> I said, uh, you are the company who can make it. So they took that challenge, and now they're producing the shoes, and they will bring this 10,000 pairs of these shoes in Bangladesh after lots of research, lots of studies, for test marketing. Uh, will, they will come in next month. Again, this is a health issue. Shoe is not just for fashion or comfort. Many of our diseases in the villages come from the skin, through the skin of the feet, uh, particularly parasitic diseases. So they suffer because they go barefoot. So if you can provide them the shoe and they can afford it, the shoe, then we have solved the problem. But not lose money. That's the Don't not lose money. Yeah. I mean, Adidas company has to be viable, has to be sustainable. Otherwise, it won't be a business. That's the business element of it. Money has to recycle. Feel like starting a social business? <laughs> That's it. So <laughs> raise your hand and come and see uh, uh, Dr. Yunus. I think he's an extraordinary visionary thinker, and thank you so much for coming today. Well, I'll be delighted to be in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.